What lengths would you go to for 52 free burritos? Would you beg, borrow, steal? What about wasting a day in Iowa? I figured screw it. That's a guy called Jared. And the other day, a colleague of his devised a challenge. Could you hit up every Panchero's Mexican Grill in Iowa in a 24 hour period? For those who haven't been, it appears to be a Mexican chain in the vein of a Chipotle or a Qdoba. And this guy appears to be quite the dedicated fan. Over my lunch break, I decided I was going to do the stupid math to uh, see uh, uh, how long it would take to do that and tweeted it out and it picked up steam pretty quick. So there are 26 Panchero's locations in Iowa and he figured out if you started in West Des Moines at 1030 in the morning and spent five minutes at each location, yes, you could visit them all in a single day, ending at an Iowa City branch at 1.45 a.m. right before it closes. So our man tweeted his plan out and tagged Pancheros, which then tweeted out his plan and turned it into a real contest, offering up a year's worth of free burritos to the first person or group who went to all of the Pancheros locations in Iowa and took a time-stamped picture at each of them for proof. I'm gonna be home for two weeks, so I had to like pack all my stuff for uh, two weeks like super fast and I got out the door. Yeah, so three days after his colleague tweeted out this scheme, our boy Jared here embarked on the first ever Pancheros Mexican Grill Iowa Queso Cruise. And well, he did the whole thing on a Saturday in his spare time. Here's a picture of him at the last location. He is now the proud winner of 52 free burritos, which he plans to dole out weekly as is his ritual. I won't be eating any more burritos than I, than I already do. This is simply, simply paying for the one burrito I get every week. I wanted to see how good of a promotion this was. First, using Google Maps, I did my best to recreate this route. I had to keep starting over because the number of stops Google Maps let me enter maxed out, but I ended up with a trip that took about 14 hours across 771 miles. The Department of Energy says that the average fuel economy for a car is 24.2 miles per gallon. This fancy calculator website said that works out to about 31.8 gallons of gas. And according to this gas prices website, last week's average for a gallon of gas in Iowa was $3.41. So at that rate, in an average car, this trip cost about $108 in gasoline. This trip I calculated also said it took 14 hours, but I'm not from Iowa. So let's take this tweet at its word, the only time anyone said let's trust something they've seen on X in the past six months, and assume this whole thing can be done in 12 hours. The US Census Bureau says the average per capita income in Iowa is $37,949, and our friends with the salary calculator say that works out to about $20.19 per hour. And assuming an eight hour workday's worth of wages, that's $161.00. 52 cents. So factoring in the average cost of gasoline for an average car and your average day's worth of wages in Iowa, a conservative estimate for what this Iowa queso cruise costs to carry out is about $269.52. But let's call it $270 for good measure. And even though the cost of a regular burrito at Panchero's is $8.95, our winner was awarded 52 burritos valued at $650. That means they're throwing in the extra steak, extra queso, and extra sour cream. And something like that costs 12 bucks. So even though he's getting 52 burritos, when you value $650 worth of them at 12 bucks a piece, and then subtract $270 worth of expenses, our winner here actually only gets the value of about 31 and a half burritos, and that's before you factor in tax. So that's how I spent my Tuesday night. Oh, and Colorado Supreme Court just disqualified Donald Trump from their 2024 primary ballot.